Hello, welcome to September 26, 2018 SUMO Community Meeting. We will be changing our URLs to Mozilla Support. Did you know? Um, and uh, we are happy to have our lovely regulars here, Chris Rowland and Michal. Thank you so much for joining the community meeting. We have shared the agenda in the IRC channel. Uh, in order to join today, you will have to go directly to the video client and go to the Sumo channel. That shared direct link will be in the agenda. Uh, we have a couple of people who are out sick, so uh, if you missed this meeting, please feel free to watch the recording. And those of you who are, thank you so much. And if you have any questions, please feel free to follow up on forum posts uh, and communi other communications like IRC and Telegram uh, on your preferred channel of communication. So we've added a couple of community roundtable items. I am going to refresh this one more time to make sure I'm up to date. We have a couple of more things that you should read coming up in the support blog. So check that out to make sure your live bookmarks, which are going away in 64, you can get, if you do use live bookmarks, you can use live marks. It's an add-on that is a workaround. Uh, and there are other managed extensions like Feedly or other preferred. Does anyone in here have any suggestions for that replacement coming up? What do you all use for RSS feeds? I use Feedly. Feedly? I use the oldreader.com with 1,100 subscriptions, which I don't recommend. I don't recommend more than 100 subscriptions. And I, I hear that Feedly and um, what's the other one that everyone uses? are much better than the old reader. Sorry, old reader management watching this video. But I do like it because it's the same interface as the old Google reader. I use something called, what's the name? Wait a second. Uh, Inno reader or Ino reader. Yep. That's another one. It, there's lots yeah, of them. Quite nice. Yeah, there's quite a few out there. But basically, it's a, it's a website. So you just use a service that's separate. It's a website. True. That's awesome. OK, we'll add those recommendations to the agenda. Appreciate it, especially in pre preparation uh, with uh, the Roland didn't just say that the sentiment for bookmark descriptions going away was uh, something that we wish we communicated a little bit better about. So. Yeah, I would say that, uh, <clears throat> A, I'm not a communications person. I don't speak for Mozilla. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, yeah, we could. Um, whenever we, I would say the that we should expect we in Mozilla and in the open source world, if we give users the ability to store data, uh, making it, taking that ability away to store data and. Uh, or hiding it first and then taking it away without clearly without 100% clearly communicating, actually over communicating, is a mistake. So we need to. The next time, I think the lesson is that Sumo should be part of this. Uh, we should communicate, over communicate, and uh, tell people and do surveys and all these things. I think. I think you can't communicate changes like that too much. You also have to be aware that people will never understand how software works. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, we we, we uh, work on imperfect software built in horribly imperfect tools, two of which are JavaScript and C++. Uh, and we have very we don't have an infinitely fast network. So in the case of bookmark description, um, it's hard to synchronize. I don't think we synchronize it, and it's hard to sustain that in the future. So um, until I get official uh, vetted blog post. Somebody yeah. in communications. That's about all we could say about that, I think. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised at the amount of people that uh, complained about the loss of bookmark descriptions. I thought it was something that most people would not even notice. Uh, well, it's, uh, you know, it's like if you uh, change IMAP in Thunderbird, Chris. It's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there, there is, uh, 
We've had 80, roughly 80, in the first three weeks of Firefox 62, we've had roughly 80 uh, support questions about that. Um, and uh, it's the vocal minority. Uh, the, the data that I was shown, and I can't, I think it's telemetry. Again, I'm going to try to get a blog post on the single blog anyways. Shows that 75% uh, of users don't use this feature at all. Right, they do not use the bookmark subscription field, but the ones who do are obviously very vocal. And again, I can't 100% blame them. Databases and storing data is a tough thing for non-programmers and non-developers. It's even hard for developers in 2018. Like, I, if I want to store data that's specific to a site, doesn't the browser and bookmark seem like a perfect place to do it? It's not, from a computer science database point of view, it's not the right place to do it, but whatever. Anyways, I think the user is always right. Uh, I think this points to the general need to, to have a database as you browse. Your own database that you control and have agency over as a, user, as a Firefox or Chrome or Edge or Safari. All right, over on that. Anyhow, I'm hoping to get a, approval for a blog post in, before the audience. <laughs> and, uh, um, uh, yeah, just uh, I'm going to recommend that going forward whenever we modify anything that takes away the ability for users to see or store data and or deletes their data, we should have a checklist that involves over communication. <laughs> and reaching out to people who actually use the feature beforehand just to give them a kind of a heads up. There are things that we can do, like you can do a so-called messaging survey where you can, or a shield study, a messaging study, where you can say, hey, I know only 0.5% are using this feature heavily, which is what bookmarks is description. Let's send them a survey saying, hey, man, hey, awesome person. You're using this feature heavily. We're thinking of taking it away. Here are some alternatives. What do you think? That would have been... Uh, what would the word be? More due diligent. More, dil more diligent. Okay, next. Next. That's the product updates. Oh, we have a Mac OS 10 Mojave update on September 24th. But again, kind of like bookmarks, description field, our Mac or users are a minority. But uh, yeah, there are issues with saving files, downloading pictures, and all these other things in Mac OS 10 Mojave from Firefox. The team is working on it. We have a small team that works on Mac and MoCo. It's not a large team, so they haven't fixed it yet. And I think we need Apple's help. So stay tuned. And of course, Philip found that through the support forums and through whatever Philip, Mattis Bacher, Mr. Austria, whatever his workflow is. Sorry, okay, muting. I think I've given my product updates. <laughs> Speaking of Apple, I, got, I found a question in the Firefox for iOS forum asking about um, shortcuts and looking at Slack and other channels. It seems like in order to get support for shortcuts, you have to file a bug with Apple. Is that correct? Do you know? Shortcuts on the... the no, I don't shortcuts. App. no, I don't. I have no idea, but uh, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, very likely. Um, if you need help finding contacts in Apple, let us know. We can try to find the partner manager for uh, the iOS develop the iOS. I think Siri service is a cool feature that we should have at some point. The question is when. That if I think. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, we should add all that to uh, roundtable items. That was a pretty cool roundtable. <laughs> um there's some also some cool news of the week, uh, kind of through this in. Reality launched last week. Uh, Mozilla Firefox Reality is a browser that you can use to look at um, browser web pages on your Oculus Vive, Oculus Go, and one other device. I apologize. If you have a 3D headset, check this out if you're interested, or if you have friends with 3D headsets, uh, please direct them to our uh, Web VR in discourse or in um, the uh, 
uh, product forums, it'd be really interesting to see uh, how people get started and excited around that. Also, there's some love from Firefox 63, 62. I'm already thinking ahead. Sorry about that. Uh, so we I gathered some a collection of tweets from users that are happy to be helped. Uh, if you are looking for a smile today or need a break, please feel free to go through this collection. It's very short. If you have any others you want to add, I can add them to the collection. I don't quite know how edit things work, uh, but uh, if you are in doubt, please feel free to at Mozilla support with a retweet or at switch to Firefox with a retweet. Those are two of our uh, feeds there. Product updates. Uh, we already had a few. 62.0.2 uh, is out. Please update your browsers. Uh, Firefox Monitor came out. Check it out. There's a post about it that was posted yesterday. It was launched at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on September 25th. Uh, you might be seeing questions in the forums uh, about breach notifications uh, for sites that have been visited. It is a feature that's been tested through numerous surveys uh, and was announced for future releases back in June. It is powered by Pawn to Own, a breached we a, sub a website that keeps track of breach sites that are published. Uh, I think over the last couple of years, I saw a couple from 2011. Uh, I'm not sure how far back it goes, uh, but it'd be interesting. Uh, check that out. You can use your email address to detect if any accounts have been compromised on their pawn to own list, uh, and they send you email updates uh, for any future ones as well. There's also a Firefox screenshot go. I'm going to hand that over to you, Mihal. Yeah, sure. I'm just looking into the notes here right now. So generally, we have Firefox Screenshot Go coming into open beta in Indonesia only or mostly on the 28th of September launching there. Uh, Joni has warned uh, everybody about this because uh, it's a beta product and this being a beta and limited geographically to Indonesia. Uh, yeah, we're really, really looking forward to learning from this experience in general. Because uh, Firefox screenshot was uh, quite like the screen, the way people take screenshots and the way they use screenshots in Indonesia is quite a, it was quite a revelation for the product team. So it will be quite interesting to see how this next step in designing apps that help users with low, uh, with with uh, slow internet connections or low bandwidth internet connections, uh, make the most of the of the web. Uh, so we're looking for that, uh, and yeah, the Indonesian local ledgers have been informed about it. We only have one article for this, so it should go smoothly. If you want, I can also handle the platform updates because I updated this for Madalena, who unfortunately is out today uh, for medical reasons, but she's fine. She's just not feeling too well. You know, uh, autumn is coming, and uh, people are feeling a bit worse sometimes. So for the platform updates, everybody has noticed uh, definitely that the redesign is live. Uh, we do know that there are still some issues, so thank you for your patience with this. There are minor issues. The website works perfectly fine, mechanically speaking. Uh, all the features are there. All the all the important bits and pieces are there. It's mostly about the placement or uh, a couple of things not being exactly right for no known reason. So we're investigating this. We're looking into this. Uh, there's a discussion further on the forums about the redesign. Uh, please use it to discuss things, check if somebody reported already an issue or not. Uh, you can also use Bugzilla as usual, but just file it to Madalina. Uh, or you can also use GitHub issues for Kitsune. Uh, but I would strongly encourage just using the discussion thread as the central piece, because we will try to uh, keep it up to date with all the things that were discovered and things that were reported or fixed. Uh, so yeah, that's generally about the platform uh, update uh, for now. Madalina is unfor unfortunately, like I already said, out today, but she's going to be coming back soon. Do we have any questions on IRC? I'm going to check. Or in the room, or on Slack. If not, I'm going to jump over to a very quick short and sweet knowledge base and localization update. We had over 330 edits over the last seven days. So huge thanks to everybody involved. Uh, we're nearing the end of the second stage of the top uh, 50 sprint for some locales, so expect uh, update 
from me about this on the blog soon. I will be communicating with the people involved. Uh, I'm curious to hear what were the biggest challenges and so on. And we're going to go into October with a plan to do even more. Uh, and uh, version 63 content is being worked on by Joni. You have some uh, articles there that are updated, some new ones about content blocking. This is just a reminder that this content is in progress. It may still be changed or, uh, you know, it's the localiz localization of this can still wait a bit. Uh, there's also one article for the Mozilla Location Service on the Android version of Firefox. Uh, so yeah, these are just heads up for you to know that stuff is happening and there's not a ton of new content, but that may still uh, be changing uh, at some point. Joni is working on it and we'll keep you informed about any changes in that respect. If there are no questions, checking Slack just one more time. Okay, uh, I'm going to hand it over to you. Rachel, off you go. Thank you. Uh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Like, thank you. Uh, Sumo forums, support forums. I apologize. I don't have too many updates from the discussions. There have been quite a a lot of things coming out for our announcements. So hopefully in the next week or two, we can catch up on some of those discussions that have been brewing uh, around community processes and announce, like announcements and uh, issues coming up with the forums. Uh, thank you for your patience there. Um, there, speaking of announcements, uh, the three products that have been coming out, the Indonesia screenshot to go monitor reality uh, Hopefully, we may have a preview next week. Uh, here is a um, preview for next week. We're going to show a stream of a reality headset. Uh, if you're interested or have any questions, please add your questions. And we'll make sure we have Nancy coming, maybe Lars, maybe Andre, uh, some of the lead program managers for that product. Uh, add your questions. Uh, they are going to love answering them. And if you have noticed in Twitter, at Mozilla VR is also answering a lot of the questions about the new uh, product. So if you have any questions, please feel free. Or if you're interested in getting involved there, like I said, friends with headsets, introduce them to Sumo. Uh, we had a 82% uh, answered rate. So that is all types of questions, so that does include Thunderbird, that does include WebMaker, it does include Firefox OS, does include all languages. The updates for 62.02, thank you again for all your help and support. You are amazing. Uh, here are some of the top few questions, uh, very similar to things that were already caught. For example, at the bottom there, you'll see the Mojave uh, OS X uh, thread. You'll see uh, Java is still, there's still some issues with uh, XP users and older versions of Firefox not supporting plugins like Java uh, uh, and old video players. There is um, a couple of screenshots. I still haven't figured this out. I would love to hear if anyone has some insights on this. There are a couple of people both in Twitter and them on the forums that are having issues with videos. Uh, I know that there are a plethora of reasons why videos don't work, and you go through a lot of troubleshooting steps like hardware acceleration, video player updated. It depends on the website. Um, but there are a couple, um, two of them, one of them was the Radon driver, and another is uh, this one uh, where they were having video issues. So if, if you want to take a look at that, um, definitely need a consult there if there's a higher issue that we should be investigating. I know there was an NVIDIA issue for the dot .1 release uh, that was fixed. Uh, maybe it's just people uh, ask them to update first and go through the troubleshooting steps. Just want to make sure we're not missing any. Uh, surprisingly, we had a Spanish and a Portuguese thread that were both uh, very um, popular this week. How do I remove keyword details on tags and on my on my bookmark library? So with that description removal, there have been some questions around, uh, a lot of questions around bookmarks, bookmark management. Uh, so it's a very popular topic. Uh, does Firefox for Android come with a VPN? So that's a no. There is an add-on. Uh, that was surprisingly also a top viewed question. And then Firefox display, do they use in Chrome? 
there's a new contributor, Kev. Welcome. Uh, we also had a top contributor contribute this week, uh, FFUS3R. Um, so just give them a warm welcome. Uh, we'll give you some coaching on some, some answers. Uh, please feel free to uh, talk to each other about some of the best practices. If you need help with that, please feel free to reach out. And then Avast, so that was another update that came. There was a large number of users that had Avast installed that was stalling the browser from working. Uh, if you want to check out the question there, Philip had a quick answer on how to fix that. Okay, so thank you. Moving on to social. Uh, thank you, Jens, Christoph, Jonatus, and Mick, MKLL, Province, Liam, and Sam, the last couple weeks of helping out with the first three weeks of answering support questions for Firefox 62. Little did we know it, three weeks from now, Firefox 63 will be coming. So if you need a break, take it now, for sure. Uh, new users, say hello to GERD and Hacker of Zone. There are a couple of employees and no users that are just helping out Firefox users. <coughs> uh, insert uh, insert uh, advertisement here. If they're interested in doing more, please feel free to share the social support, get involved uh, social media link. That's it. If you're also interested in helping out with uh, documentation for how to contribute and social support, that is something that we still need help out help with, uh, say hello in the social support forum. Our response rate was 69%, so steady 69 to 72% range. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, uh, that was a lot pretty quickly. Um, are there any thoughts in people's heads that would like to escape and share? Okay, well, here's five minutes back. Have a good week. And, uh, Good evening to everybody. Ciao, cheers. All right, bye. Ciao.